Race out on the program is another one of the most anticipated races on the card. The Tab Multiplier, four-year-old Bonanza at Group 1 level. Automatic entry to the Chariots of Fire up for grabs here, but it's a $100,000 race in its own right. John Luke proved he's got uh, spectacular gate speed, two starts back, and I reckon he'll be able to hold his own early into the first turn, but he'll be looking for a trail on something. Originally, I felt that I'm Pat's Delight would be unlikely to find the front, but the more I look at the race... None of these horses off the front line have sort of brilliant, booming gates, but I know the Brooklyn Brawler has looked as though he has against inferior opposition, but against horses like Poster Boy and Conan and I'm Pat's Delight, I don't think it's going to get him to the front. I think that I'm Pat's Delight will just be able to do enough to stay inside his major rivals for the early lead drawn outside of him, and from there, he should be able to roll on to the top, but Gavin Lane's got to get him up on the gate, which he hasn't been on a couple of occasions in recent starts. Spankham will be committed to rolling forward, I think, believing, or Nat Rasmussen believing, that he can park outside on Pat's delight and defeat him. Poster Boy will get a beautiful run, whichever way you look at it from gate four. Rolls forward, gets cover in transit. Rack him up, Tiger Pie. Mick Stanley will be so buoyed by his performance in the Ballarat Cup. I don't think he'll be risking a pocket. He'll be getting off here, I reckon, and making one big booming run and trying to turn the short course race into some sort of staying test, knowing how strong that horse is. And the big beneficiary of Rack'em Up Tiger Pie potentially leading up the three-wide line is Duke of Wellington, who we know has got a stack of ability. Good second first up in Australia. And if he gets a card into proceedings and they've gone mad, he's not totally out of play. I'm Pat's delight, your likely leader, but I reckon only... A 40 to 50% chance to get their very confusing speed map for the tab multiplier four-year-old Bonanza.